Welcome to this introduction to Microsoft Teams for staff in schools. This training has been developed to support staff in primary schools in the UK benefiting from Teams. There are many benefits to using Microsoft Teams in primary schools. The value it adds includes that it facilitates collaboration and communication between teachers and pupils. It allows teachers to collaborate, converse and share with each other. And finally, that it is a powerful one-stop hub online for files, documents, learning activities, resources, conversations, homework, diary, school plans, meetings and many more. Posts. You can post a new conversation or an announcement for your whole class to see. This may be an assignment, instructions for a lesson or task, or a reminder. In Files, you can create a range of new folders to file all your class documents in, whether they be Word, PowerPoint, Excel, or OneNote notebooks. The Class Materials folder is read-only, so learners cannot edit the documents. There are three main types of notebook within the class notebook. There is the student notebook for individual students, the content library for read-only documents, and the collaboration space for everyone to read, edit, and share. In a class team, you will also have a teacher-only notebook. Distri distributing notebook pages. If you have created a notebook page that you want to distribute to your class, follow these five steps. 1. Create a page in Teacher Only or Content Library. 2. Click on Class Notebook to the right of Help. Then click on Distribute Page. You can choose to either distribute to an individual, a group, or the whole class. Then select the distribution page within each student's notebook. When it comes to setting assignments, you can either set a new assignment, a quiz, or you can adapt from an existing assignment. You can save and schedule for later, you can assign it to a particular team or channel, and you can post an announcement with the link to the team. This is the Assignments tab, with me viewing it as the learner. If I had assignments to complete, they would be in the top section of the canvas under Assigned. As you can see, I don't have anything assigned, but I have completed and handed in two pieces of home learning. You can easily keep track of which learners have viewed and handed in their assignments. You can also see which you have returned with or without feedback. Have a go at exploring Teams. If you're ready for a challenge, you could have a go at uploading a file into the Class Materials folder or create a demo page in the Class Notebook content library and distribute the page to all the other students. Or you could have a go at creating a demo assignment. Try scheduling it or assigning it straight away. This video has been created by Tim Clark, a member of the Digital Transformation Team at Cornerstone Church of England Primary School. To find out more about how we are using Microsoft Teams and a range of Microsoft tools, please contact Henry Penfold, our digital leader, or myself, Tim Clark, our head teacher.